the typical medieval weapons most people have in their houses. And this looks like a ridiculously effective weapon for bashing somebody's skull in. However, because it's a showpiece, this is all it is. It is a little screwed on ball that's very easy to snap off. If you actually hit something with that, a tree, a person, that's going to snap right off. These kind of swords, which are very easy to find in people's houses, this is what ends up when you hit something with them. So those are completely, completely useless in any kind of practical situation. Is, is this some sort of mythical gem, though? <laughs> no. It's just, just crappy show pieces. Look at that. See? And that's what happens. So what you want to do is you want to avoid flashy pieces, like this sort of thing, where you see lots of designs and ornateness. This means it's going to be a piece of crap, along with the fact that it's 50 bucks. However, when you move up into the higher end stuff like you showed earlier, with a real sword, you can see just the difference between the way that that looks when you pull it out of this cabinet and the way this looks. Very, very cheap, very small, fake little patterns designed on it. That's going to break within about two seconds. This is going to be something that's going to hold up to ridiculous amounts of abuse. So you need to make, take the investment that would be bad and spend the $600 and then after that make sure you have a secondary weapon as well because those can eventually break too but if you take proper care of it you're going to have something that's going to be reliable in most given situations so that's what you have to look for is always check into the quality of the make and how much you're paying for your weapons and this is this is a situation that is an outpost for obvious reasons any situation we're pretty much prepared for so in the event of zombies I always have a key to the front gate which is what makes this the most practical job to have for anybody that's actually concerned about these sorts of things. So, I'm going to be the guy passing out the weapons. Right. If, a, if a zombie attack does happen and people come here, will you be handing weapons out for free? Probably. Just not the best ones, because I'm keeping those for myself.